what guides my healing approach to each patient newly diagnosed with breast cancer or a breast cancer patient is to be fully present and to be able to listen uh, to the patients. As Rachel Remen um, has coined this term of generous listening and that's what I try to do, have a generous listening and really hear the patient's story to be able to integrate that into the medical knowledge and some intuition and be able to formulate then the best treatment plan including all the perspectives that the patient brings to the to the encounter there. The journey of breast cancer is certainly a complex and multifaceted journey and I do try to be there for patients in many different aspects. Uh, I want to provide the best medical treatment possible using whatever latest clinical research there is, um, but I also want to be certain that they're supported. I've been in practice with Dr. Gullion since 1991 and what has really impressed me is that when a patient goes to see him, I think they feel as if they're in a cocoon of caring. He has impressed me that he feels a person's psychic health is just as important as their physical health. We were one of the earlier uh, places around the country to have an integrative oncology program. The transition to the Center for Integrative Health and Wellness occurred when our program became somewhat more robust and so now we have a actual center and that not only includes the integrative oncology but we are also having similar integrative modalities for cardiology and other diseases. So it's become a larger center within the hospital. And I'll have to say that Julie Wheeland is the director and this would not have happened without her help. I wear a heart pin every day. And this is a symbol of caring and compassion for patients. And I've collected a number of them, in fact about 75, um, over the years and many of them given to me by patients. So that's very special. I am so grateful to be uh, awarded this Healing Professional Award. So I appreciate Zero Breast Cancer for bestowing this award and I'm very honored.